Hi there, welcome to the channel, I'm Beatrice and today together we're practicing a yin yoga class for tired legs. What you need for this class is a yoga strap and a bolster. If you don't have a yoga strap you can always substitute it with a belt or a tie. If you don't have a yoga bolster you can substitute that today with another mat, a rolled up mat or a couple of rolled up blankets or a couple of rolled up towels so you have a bit more height than just one. And when you're ready, come practice with me. Starting this class on our front, have the bolster at the back of your mat so you can rest your ankles on it and have the belt at the top of your mat for the first posture. And if you don't have that bolster, that blanket or the towel can go underneath your ankles. So your the top of your ankles come to the bolster and come to lie down on your front. And you can stack yourself up onto the forearms, forehead on your forearms. as you come to your practice today, bring all of your attention to the legs. Start at the sole of your foot. If you feel any tightness or tension, relax, maybe spread your toes for a moment. Move the toes as it feels good. And bring your attention up through the ankle. And let the ankle be heavy, supported by the bolster. Soften the calf muscle. Relax your thighs all the way around. The hamstring at the back of your thigh, the quads at the front of your thigh. Taking a few more moments to notice the breath. Trying to keep that soft breath. No need to change your natural breath. Perhaps using the breath as a guide for the practice today, that you're not going a bit too far into the posture. So as long as your breath feels natural and soft, keep it like that. Now for a first posture, begin by bending the right knee and take the foot towards your hip. 
Now maybe some of you can grab hold of your ankle. However, be careful not to tense up the neck and the shoulders. So I suggest you use that strap, pass it around the ankle. And come to hold the top of your strap over the shoulder. And doing that, gently pull the foot in towards you. As soon as you feel a pull at the front of your thigh, stay there. And you can relax the head again on the forearm. Start to gently let go of the strap. Take it out of this side. And then release that right leg back down and call to the bolster. Coming around to the other side. So bending into the left knee, bringing the strap around to the ankle. Take your time to place it as well. So you might want it a little bit lower on the shin if that feels better and then pass it around, hold the base of your strap. Take it forward. And begin to take notice of the two different sides and how they feel.
start to slowly release off of this side as well. And keep the strap close by, lower the leg down. And slowly bring yourself up to your hands and knees. And we'll come around now to lie on, your, on our back. So take the bolster out of the way. However, we'll use it at the end as well, so keep it handy. And come to lie on your back with the strap with you. And as you come down, keep the left foot grounded. Lift the right one and pass the strap around the sole of your foot. Straightening the leg as much as you need to, to feel some sensation at the back of your leg. And you can gently flex the foot using the strap as well if you want to feel sensations at the calf too. And even with the flexion, try to be soft. Begin to come out of this one, so bend your knee, take the strap away, take the right foot to the ground and take your time, wait a moment to bring that right foot to ground again, noticing any difference between the two sides. And maybe even the sole of your foot on the ground feels different, so we've worked on the whole back line of the leg here. So it might feel like it feels a little bit more grounded, a little bit more spread out. And when you're ready, move to the other side so the foot 
The strap comes to the base of your foot on the left. Straightening the leg as much as you need to, holding the strap at the bottom so you're not tensing up shoulders and neck. If you'd like to invite a bit more sensations on the calf, use the strap at the ball of your foot and gently flex it towards you. Softly bend the knee, remove the strap, and take the left foot to the ground. We're finishing our practice with the legs up, supported by the bolster. So take your bolster under your sacrum, just under the, your lower back, just a bit lower than that. Take your time to get there. Place it somewhere that feels stable. And begin to lift one knee at a time. Bring them to your chest first. And if it feels okay, you can keep the bolster as it is or maybe scoop yourself forward a bit for a bit more support and take your legs up. If it feels a bit too much to keep your legs up without support, you can use the strap under the soles of your foot again. But this time, try to keep soft. Don't press the foot into the strap, don't flex the foot. Let it be however it wants to be.
and come back to noticing your legs starting at the sole of your foot. Down the ankle. Calf muscle. Knee. Back of your thigh. Front of your thigh. can stay here for as long as you need to. When you're ready to come out, gently lower the knees, roll to one side, and bring yourself to seated. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't yet, and share with your friends and family. Thank you.